What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim and we're coming live from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm with my homie, my brother for life, good. Wurzburg. Hey, you remember when we used to do those food vlogs? But we just came back from Love Biscuit or Biscuit Love? Love Biscuit. Love, Love Biscuit. biscuit. Um, as you guys saw that B-roll, those cinnamon rolls, the donuts, those chicken biscuits with gravy, hot chicken sandwich, it was bussin'. If you are in the Nashville area or are gonna be visiting it anytime soon, I definitely do recommend Love Biscuit. It's bussin'. So right now, we're about to drive around the city, see some houses, possibly go to a mall, just gonna basically go around Nashville, catch some vibes, and this video is just gonna be me and my boy Wurzburg and my wife traveling around Nashville, giving you guys some good vibes, showing you guys some good eats and some dope places to go visit. All right, guys, so we are here day two in Nashville. We are now leaving uh, Monell's. I think that's how you say it. Really dope restaurant. Me, Wurzburg, Ashley obviously all went to it. And it was a really dope concept. Basically, they sit you guys with different parties. So how I best can explain is it's one big table, and there's like three different parties that sit at the table, and we all basically share the food. So it's kind of like buffet style, but we all pass the food, and we all eat as a family, which is dope. We all have good conversations. You get to meet a lot of people, which is really cool. I really do like that concept. Concept, just basically helps us have better interactions. We can't use your phones or nothing like that to be focused on the meal and focused on talking with each other. So I definitely do recommend stopping by Monell's. You are in the Nashville area, super dope. And I think it was only 20 bucks per person and it's basically all you can eat food. All right, right now, right now we're in Sentinel Park. I think Wait, that's what it's called. Gonna, are you recording? Record? Yeah, I'm recording. So right now, Sentinental, Sentinental I Continental. Know. I don't know. We're at that park, but listen, I want I wanted to get the opinions of Wurzburg and Ashley what they thought about the restaurant we just were at. So I'll, I'll start off with Wurzburg first since he's right here. Wurzburg, what's he thought about that restaurant we were at, bro? What's it called again? Monet's? Monel's? Monel's, first of all. Monel's. And I want to congratulate myself for not going with your suggestion and eating a bagel for breakfast because that place was banging. It would have been better if there were hot girls sitting next to us, but. It's I don't okay. know, but wasn't it dope, you know, how, having those Just people yeah, sit next to us? Random people, like, you know, Getting you to know do random that. people? You don't do that around these days. You know? No cell phones? We, ha we actually had to be in the present time, not in the cell phone time, you know? Yeah, you get to learn about people. All right, Warfare, what's your rating in that place out of 10? Um, I give it a good 8.9. 8.9, Warfare, give it an 8.9. All right, now I'm going to get Ashley's opinion right here, Ashley. Ashley was excited. I don't know. She was looking all gig she was all laughing, giggling. She's like, oh my god, I actually like this experience so much, you know? So Ashley, since you were so happy and giggly, tell us your experience about eating at Monel's. I enjoyed it. I liked that they brought everything out to you and you got to pick and choose what you wanted to eat. Yeah, but face style, that shit was lit. Everything was good. Food was good. And yeah, I know at first you think like, oh, it's weird. You're going to be like kind of like hibachi style where you're sitting with like other families. Luckily, the group of people we were in were super friendly. But yeah, I mean, everything was really good. I liked it. I would go again. What's your rating in it? I give it a nine, a solid nine. You're nine? We're probably 8.9. Uh, Ashley at nine. Uh, I'm going to be right there the same. Nine. Definitely do recommend it. And I got all this awards. Just winning like best southern breakfast, best this, best that. They got awards all throughout the whole restaurant it's super dope definitely do recommend it but right now like i said we were in continental park sentinental park i don't know what the hell you call it it's a nice little park built in 1872 it's right next to the vanderbilt stadium down there oh yeah it was right next to vanderbilt stadium where's back like he knows where vanderbilt stadium was he didn't even know vanderbilt was in tennessee <laughs> i feel like i feel like if right here if i took this picture people would think i'm in like Italy or something. Doesn't this look like a Colosseum? It reminds Washington me of a Colosseum. Yeah, or Greece or something like that, yeah. Greece. This reminds me of Greece. I'm in Greece. That's what you should label the video. Alright, so this is day two in Nashville. Um, day one went to shit with actually recording stuff. We had a lot of fun. We went to the mall. We went to Broadway Street, which is basically where I have all the bars and karaoke shit and all the, you know, touristy stuff. Uh, we didn't get out of it because it was so packed. But you know, we went to the mall, we had some lunch, and we had tacos at this place called Mas Tacos, por favor. Banging tacos. Uh, so today, the game plan is to get some Nashville barbecue at this place called Martin's Barbecue. And then on the agenda for me personally is they have White Castle here. And I haven't had White Castle in a minute, so I will be going to White Castle. And Jack in the Box is also here. Shout out to my days back in Houston, Texas. So I haven't had Jack in the Box since uh, 2006, back when I was in the sixth grade. So I'm hoping it tastes the same. I'm looking forward to getting a milkshake. That was one of my favorite items at Jack in the Box. 
So that's pretty much the agenda today. All right, so we're about to leave San Antonio Park. I just had one of the best snow cones I've ever had in my whole life. Oh my God. Listen, it was shaved ice. It's called Retro Snow. If you're ever in the Tennessee area, Nashville area specifically, have to check out Retro Ice. One of the best snow cones, shaved ice you've ever had in your life. It's a food truck. Right now, we're at a music live festival. Uh, just chilling, vibing out. We're Leaving right there, as you can see right behind me, uh, Martin's Bob bar 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 barbecue, barbecue, uh, Martin's barbecue, and this got like 8,000 reviews. Uh, 4.5 stars was like the average review, so we're like, yo, let's test it out. And me, I went to Kansas City, had some of the best barbecue I've ever had in my life, so I wanted to compare it. You know, Nashville barbecue, Memphis barbecue, they say it's also a good type of barbecue, so I wanted to put them head to head. And let me tell you this, Kansas City Barbecue won. Kansas City Barbecue is the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. Nashville Barbecue, eh. Martin's Barbecue specifically, wasn't all that. I wouldn't go back. Um, I think it was because it was a chain. We haven't found an actual mom and pop barbecue place like all the other mom and pop restaurants that we've been to this time. So that it's the chain? Been. And That's tell them the sure worst the part. Chain. Tell them the worst part when you got to the cashier, what happened? I asked for ribs. Barbecue place, right? B -b 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 barbecue ribs. Didn't have any. How? They ran out of ribs for my dog. <laughs> Where's Burke? Where's Burke had no ribs. So um, he was pissed off about that. Uh, but overall, I'll probably give it a... Um, probably give it a 6 out of 10. So what's that out of 5 stars? Um, I give it a 2. 2, two, two stars out of 5. Give yeah. it a 3. You give it 3 stars? Yeah, because a 6, you would potentially eat it. No, no, no. Oh, I'm talking about five? 2. No, no, yeah, 2. Oh, I mean, out of 5 stars. 1.5? Out of 5 stars, 1.5. 1.5, yeah. I'm giving it to. All right, guys, so we are <laughs> in the White Castle parking lot. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> Ashley's having a meltdown because she's scared <laughs> to eat the burger. Wordsworth looks really unpleased. As you can see right here, like, White Castle for your boys. They don't know what they're missing out on. This shit is heavenly. I already got my burger outside of the box. You, eat it yet. you know how they do it. Heavenly. I know how White Castle burger I've had. I've had White Castle before. You're the losers. I never had it. All right, guys. Let's go in for the first bite. I love the microwavable White Castle burgers, so. I think these are microwaved. <laughs> these are microwaved. <laughs> Delicious here. <laughs> did you have a bite? Yeah, I did, yeah. Did you like it or no? No, I knew it was a good Are you about to throw up? It smells gross and like, it's soggy. <laughs> Where, where do you give it? No lie, look like. Oh, oh you should go for a second bite. <laughs> no lie, this is good. That's what you better say. It's not really that good. <laughs> Out of five, what do you give it? I give it a, a one. one. All right, guys. Um, so that's the last part of the food portion. Um, well, does, does a milkshake count as food? It's a dessert. So I guess it's food. So last spot for Nashville. We're gonna be hitting Jack in the Box. Um, like I said, I haven't had Jack in the Box for probably over 10 plus years. Uh, yeah, no, 15. Yeah, almost 15 years. So back in Texas, the Jack in the Box milkshake was one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. So we're about to go back there. Um, not go back to Texas, but go back to Jack in the Box and test it out. Where were you fuck with it? What? White Castle, you coming back here or no? Actually, coming back to White Castle? Hey, people in Orlando waited four and a half hours for that burger. What, you, what do you say? What do you say to those people in Orlando? They wasted their time, time for real. Wasted their time. They wasted wow. their time for real. You heard it here first, idiots. All right, guys, <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs>